Proper cooling system maintenance is essential for maximum engine performance. It is important that correct installation procedures are followed. Hastings Filters recommends your coolant filter be changed at every normal service interval unless you're using an extended life coolant filter. Before changing the coolant filter, test the coolant with a Hastings CT101 Fleet Strip test kit to ensure the SCAs are at the proper level. To test the level of protection within the coolant, collect a coolant sample from the radiator or petcock. The coolant must be between 50 degrees and 130 degrees Fahrenheit when tested. Remove one strip from the bottle and replace the cap immediately. Do not touch the pads on the end of the strip. Discard the kit if the unused strips have turned brown. Dip the strip into the coolant sample for one second. Remove and shake the strip briskly to remove excess liquid. Wait 45 seconds after dipping the strip, then compare and record the results in the following order. Compare the freeze point, the end pad, to the color chart and record the results. Next, compare the sodium molybdate, the middle pad, to the color chart and record the results. Finally, compare the sodium nitrite, the bottom pad, to the color chart and record the results. All three readings must be completed within 75 seconds after dipping the test strip. It's okay to estimate a value between the color blocks. If uncertain about the color match, estimate towards the lighter color block. Determine on the chart in which color zone the sodium molybdate level intersects the sodium nitrite level and follow the treatment instructions shown on the chart. If using BTE, there will be no change on the sodium molybdate pad. In this case, refer to row zero on the chart. All results should be recorded on a maintenance record for future reference. If the SCA levels are at the proper level and fall into the green or the service area of the chart, replace the coolant filter. Make sure the correct amount of SCAs is being added. If the SCA levels are too high and fall into the red or the test area of the chart, use a filter without chemicals until the SCA levels fall into the green area of the chart. If the SCA levels are too low and fall into the yellow or the pre-charge area of the chart, replace the service filter and add liquid SCAs to bring the coolant up to the proper SCA levels. After testing the coolant for proper SCA levels, it is important that correct installation procedures are followed. When changing spin-on coolant filters, pictograms on the filters themselves show the proper installation procedures. When servicing a coolant filter, first close the coolant shutoff valve to prevent coolant spillage. Next, unscrew and remove the old filter, making sure the old gasket is also removed. The use of a filter wrench may be required. Wipe the filter mounting base with a clean cloth to remove any contaminants. Remove the protective shrink wrap from the new filter. Check to make sure the gasket is in place and inspect the filter for dents. Filters that are dented prior to or during installation should not be used. Apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the filter gasket. Do not use grease. Line up the threads on the filter with the threads on the mounting base carefully to avoid cross-threading. Screw on the new filter until the gasket comes into contact with the base. Follow the instructions of the filter manufacturer for final tightening. The pictogram on the filter will tell how many additional turns from gasket contact the filter requires. If the filter cannot be hand tightened to the proper torque, Hastings recommends using a filter strap wrench. Place the wrench near the base plate of the filter to avoid damaging the filter during installation. Using a filter wrench other than a strap wrench is not recommended, as some filter wrenches incorporate metal pins designed to help remove the filter. These pins can dent a new filter, which could cause the filter to leak. A coolant filter that is not properly tightened to the manufacturer's recommendations may cause the filter to come loose and leak. Open the coolant shutoff valve. Then start the engine and check for leaks. Again, check the filter for dents. 
Once the filter has been changed and the recommended treatment has been followed, run the engine to allow the SCAs to dissolve and cycle through the cooling system. Then collect a new coolant sample and test with a new coolant test strip and record the results. If the SCA levels are still low, continue to add additional SCAs until the test results fall into the green or the service area of the test chart. Remember, when disposing of used coolant filters and coolant liquid, follow all environmental regulations in your area.